Gilharshan agus Valgerev gispeak Gaelic. Welcome to Speak Gaelic. She ha ma via rash a gyun sach of The theme of this episode is Aun Savala in town. Aun Savala. And we'll be learning words and phrases that you can use mahau a dolf er sploid if you're going on a fun trip or a night on the town. And it's a particularly good phrase to learn and use with your friends. A dollar sploid. And we've lots more to come. Talk about what you did on a day or night out. Hi, Megan Taitaski. Callum McLean gets into the groove with some dance moves. Discuss future plans. And I meet Gaelic learner Maria Robertson and find out why her goal is to speak Gaelic. Nach Brinjin Bikin Gaelic Maha. A Vilshiv Jishal, are you ready? We're going to look at how to ask someone about something they've done. And we do this using the phrase J Rainu. What did you do? J Rainu. You can use J Rainu to ask about many different things, but we'll concentrate here on phrases that allow you to talk about a day out in town and how to respond. To ask someone what they did in town, you say J Rainu aun Savala. What did you do in town? J Rainu aun Savala. Now, many of us like to hit the shops. In Gaelic, Nabuchan. Nabuchan. And if that's you, then you'll probably head for the town or city centre. Mia Navala. Literally, the centre of the town. Mia Navala. If you're more into history or culture, you might want to visit a museum. A Taitaski, a house of preservation or storage. Taitaski. Or perhaps you're lucky enough to have tickets for the theatre. Taikluche, literally the playhouse. Taikluche. Now, if someone's asking what you did on a visit to town, they might also use the phrase, Anjehu. Did you go? Anjehu. For example, if they were asking about the Taitaski, the museum, and Jehu gan Taitaski, did you go to the museum? And Jehu gan Taitaski. We respond to a question beginning with an Jeh with either the positive form, which is Chai, Chai, or the negative form, Chajeh, Chajeh. Chai or Chajech. To say that you have been to the museum, it's Chai me gantai taski. I went to the museum. Chai me gantai taski. But if you didn't, it would be Chajech me gantai taski. I didn't go to the museum. Chajech me gantai taski. Let's listen to this conversation where people are talking about Jay Rainyat Erin Jerry Hachin. Fiskin Matt Hartin. Jay Rainshivik and Jerry Hachin. Well, I ye Akam, sir. And the Gabu Fosh? Gav me back and Fosh. Hi, Megan Taitaski. A Taitaski mode with the art on the Madrid. Ha! Ham Prado Glivria. A Tashpana Gura on and Drasta. Hi, me hin, agus karachau in jasaharnia. And jachu gana bujin? Hajach, hai shin gu miil na vale, agus hai shin gu kafi. And jachu hin gan vale, Emma. Hai me gan vale? Hai me hin agus jij karachin gana bujin jasaharnia. Hasrachin an the munchin le emug buim agus reinchin tor koshok. And the reinch of tor kyanoch. Can ich mir rutnaga? As fear hurly mochila carla, if you dog on the boochin. Han yel tor voochin more else against them. Im the yik shuvan savala, Emma. 
Kate ich mische uns a valle. Roll me coffee, I guess I'm a yachi. But me a cock rock genius, I'm a wahrheit. I will the wahrheit ne share, Emma. Ha, more than tying under. Cheer on you, hey, and all by yaket. Ba? Hi, she can eat at spores out of that thing. Vashin a snarf. I guess I see the rake and jill of hoike face it. Hi, she got face hued on the bell and a yaklisher. Vacal tradition to own, I guess. Vacal garlic on. Upper spores? You met a high gave. How did you get on? Did you follow what was being said? Everyone seems to have been very busy visiting various places. Emma responded to Andra's question, saying, Chaich mi gan valle. I went into town. Chaich mi gan valle. We also heard the question form of chai, which is an jech. Did you? An jech. Emma used the phrase an jech and asked Katriana, an jechu gan a buchen. Did you go to the shops? An jechu gan a buchen. And Katriana's response, chajech. No, I didn't. Chajech. But where did Katriana and her friend go? Chaishin gumiana valle. We went to the city centre. Chaishin gumiana valle. And she explained, Chaishin gu cafe. We went to a cafe. Chaishin gu cafe. To say we went to a, we say Chaishin gu. As opposed to, we went to the. Chaishin gan. Chaishin gu and Chaishin gan. That's why we heard Katriana saying Chaishin gu cafe. What about Emma? Well, she was with two friends. Chai me hin, I guess jish harichin. Myself and two friends went. Chai me hin, I guess jish harichin. And they went to the shops. Gana buchin jish To the shops on Saturday. Gana buchin jish Let's listen again to some of that conversation. And Jack, who's going to boo you? Ha Jack, hi Shin go me in the valley. I guess hi Shin go cafe. And you go here in the valley, Emma. Hi me in the valley. Hi me here in the guess Jeez Harrison going to boo you in the sahar ne. Has Rachin on the mountain let Emma go boo him. I guess Rachin tore Koshok. Now for my favourite part of the programme. And I've been joined by another of Speak Gaelic's inspirational learners, Maria Robertson. Participating in the Aberfeldy mod is where Maria first encountered Gaelic. But before we start chatting about her learning, let's find out a bit more about her. Is Misha Maria Robertson? I'm Maria Robertson. I was born in North Devon, but I came to Scotland when I was eight. Hamia Furich Anna Newton Hill, Fashk Air Oparayan. It's great living beside the sea. I've recently started wild swimming and I love being in the water. It helps me relax and it's good for the circulation. It's great to get outdoors into the fresh air and have a break from the laptop. I work from home as a business researcher for a law firm. I also do a lot of admin for the local Fache and I'm the class coordinator for Club Gaelic Operion. Although I didn't have Gaelic as a child, I would sing at the Aberfeldy Mod every year. When I was pregnant with my son, I would sing him a Gaelic lullaby. It was the only thing that would settle the kicks. My son is now 11 and going through the Gaelic medium education system. Although I had a lot of love for Gaelic from my youth, it was only when I found out about Gaelic medium education that it actually occurred to me to try and learn the language. I've been going to Gaelic evening classes and I'm fortunate to get some extra help and correction from my son. Is there a chocolate? Hi, Mr. Dom. 
here in Wavsach Furchinach. I've been a parent advisor speaking to parents considering Gaelic medium education for their children. It's certainly a decision we've never regretted. Gaelic is a very important and enjoyable part of our lives. Well, Fal Church of Idea does speak Gaelic. Kimura Hau. Haguma. Your first encounter with Gaelic was in the school choir. What did you know about the language before then? So I didn't really know much about the language at all, but we were taught these songs and it was lovely to sing them and we got a day out to have a foul day, which was always very exciting. And you started learning Gaelic at first when your son was enrolled in Gaelic medium education. How has that been for you? Well, the idea was that I would start learning when we made the decision. Um, unfortunately, I, it took me several years before I actually got stuck into it properly. But we always wanted to support his learning yeah. and we did try and use it around the house. We had, um, we were given flashcards with the, the Gaelic, the phonetics and the English mm -hmm. and pictures. So we would do things like Glandy Achlan and um, we tried to support his learning that mm -hmm. way. No. How easy is it for you to speak Gaelic at home to your son? Not very, because he's very pedantic about my pronunciation and he's always correct to me. Um, his current career aspiration is to be a Gaelic maths teacher, so he practices his teaching skills by correcting mummy quite, quite efficiently. Yeah. Um, but it's been really nice being able to sort of support his learning. Mm. With the, the flashcards were really useful. We had them stuck up around the, you know, the different rooms in the house so that we would say the, the relevant things. Mm -hmm. um, and we tried to always say, good morning, how are you, um, when we got up and things. And have there been any breakthrough moments for you with your learning? I keep thinking that there might be a light bulb one day and I'll just be able to speak Gaelic, but that's not how these things work. But I think um, the, the key moment really was I went into one of the committee meetings um, and... Normally they would all stop speaking Gaelic when I arrived, but they kept speaking Gaelic. Um, and I realised that I understood some of what they were saying as well. And it was like, yeah, I, I definitely understand more than I can speak, mm -hmm. which is, is a step in the right direction. Absolutely. <laughs> and do you have any favourite Gaelic words or phrases? It has to be uh, Pog de Um We had a flashcard next to Owen's bed that said, kiss your mom. Um, <laughs> and that was the first phrase that I learned how to say and made a point of saying every night. I love my wee boy. <laughs> oh, that is so special. I guess, Tafel it. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Ku morst, Lisha Gaelic. Keep it up. I guess <laughs> anish han taumon a gold er sploid called the Callum. It's time to head off on another adventure. Let's join Speak Gaelic's outdoor enthusiast, Calum McLean. And for once, he's nowhere remote, but still up for a challenge. Da chas chli, two left feet. Da chas chli. It's not something I've ever been accused of having. I can robot dance. I can Kaylee with the best of them. And yes, I can certainly boogie. But today, I'm in Dunagin, Edinburgh, Dunagin, to try something a little bit different. Gav Graham at Carriage. Take a partner, Gav Graham at Carriage. I guess hooky nigaun, sir. I'm off to try some Bangra dancing. This down south, dance, down south, originates in Nahishachan, India, Nahishachan, and Pakistan, Pakistan. Pakistan. It is an important part of weddings, parties and family celebrations. The lyrics in the Orang, songs, Orang, are often about girl, love, girl, relationships, money and making merry. Just like most Kayleys I've been to. Shreya Srinivas is a member of the Edinburgh Bangra crew. The origins of Bangra are that it's a folk dance, so it's done as a community. All the farmers, they all come together to celebrate harvest and dance together. So there's moves that symbolize the swaying of crops in 
the farms. There is moves that symbolize the making, the actual final product of the crop, so making a roti or chapati. And how important is the role of the drum within the music? So you can always hear the beats of the drum, and that's it's a very good kind of indicator to kind of help the Bhangra dancer also find beats to dance to. The outfits are amazing, they're really colourful. Is that an important part of the performance? There's a lot of significance to these costumes and there's a lot of respect that you have to give to these costumes as well. Before we start dancing as well, we kind of give a lot of significance to the ground that we're dancing on. So you kind of touch your hand to your uh, temple or your head and kind of respect the ground that you're dancing on. So you're going to teach me a few moves. What are we going to do? So today we'll be focusing mainly on a segment called the dhamal. It's extremely energetic, so we'll be teaching you some of the basic steps of Bhangra because those are steps that any beginner would learn. Right, now time to be part of the crew. Hami Jeshal, I am ready. Hami Jeshal, I think. Ugh, I've lost it. Come on, get back in the groove, Callum. That's it. Almost. Hmm. Vator spores of shit. That was great fun. Vator spores of shit. I'd happily bust some of those moves again. I just need to get my own crew together now. Chukini Gaunse. Le crew of Khawam. But I need to get a singer I can add into the mix. What do you reckon, Joy? I'd certainly be up for that. And I think Bangra Celt could be a new genre in world music. Kjol na Krinje. World music. And thanks to Calum, we now know that Oreng are songs. Daunse is dance. And Nahin Shachan is India. Nahin Shachan. I guess be Callum your splay daily sana program. Callum will be taking us on another adventure in our next episode. Your splay daily. Achanish, a will shiv jishal, your son in Thulyach Gaelic of Rain. Earlier on, we looked at ways in which we could answer the phrase J. Rainu. What did you do? J. Rainu. Now we'll move on from the past tense to the future tense. J. Niu. What will you do? J. Niu. Or if you're talking about more than one person, J. Nishin. What will we do? J. Nishin. If you're with friends and trying to plan what to do at the weekend, you could say, what will we do at the weekend? Or, to specify a particular day, What will we do on Saturday? You may also want to make some suggestions. To do that, you can use the phrase Will we go? Unchaging. For example, if you wanted to go to the cinema, unchaging ganta yalov. Will we go to the cinema? Unchaging ganta yalov. Now we respond to unchaged questions positively with h. We'll go h. Or the negative. Khachich won't go. Khachich. So if you do decide to go to the cinema, you say Hitching Gantayalov. We'll go to the cinema. Hitching Gantayalov. Or if you decided not to go, Khachiching Gantayalov. We won't go to the cinema. Khachichin Gantayalov. You can use the same structure to make alternative suggestions. For example, Anishin on an B. Will we eat in a restaurant? Anishin on an B. Or if you're making arrangements to travel, 
En gavshin taxi. Well, we take a taxi. En gavshin taxi. Let's listen to this next conversation where people are making plans for the evening and see how much you can follow. Well, a fine And the Lenshiv and Koru. Did you follow the conversation? And the Lenshiv and Koru. First of all, Elsie asked Shoni, Jane Yishinyanok, what will we do tonight? Jane Yishinyanok. And Shawnee's response, Gai Shin Jr. We'll have dinner. Gai Shin Jr. To give Shawnee a break from cooking, Elsie suggested a new French restaurant and asked, Nach Chet Shin Shall we not go there? Nach Chet Shin Yaun. Nach Chet Shin is subtly different to Un Chet Shin It translates as won't we go? And means something like, let's go, or why don't we go? Now they've agreed to eat out, Elsie wonders, How will we get there? Luckily, they came to a decision. We'll go into town on the train. And as for coming back home, Gaishin Taxi Gachi. We'll take a taxi home. Gaishin Taxi Gachi. Nachishin Yadiyisht vi parsht in Choruch. Let's listen again to part of that conversation. And remember, you can watch all of the conversations in this series on our website, supported by Bilingual Transcriptions. Hatayk bi ur ansavale. She type B Franco haha. Nach Chechinau. Hate. Hechinau maha. Hi, on a me on a valley. Kimber Hechinau. And Chechinau and Trene. Hech, Stalem and Trene. Hechinau and Valle, and Trene. Ergis Gaish in Taxi Gachi. Gai. In this programme, we've often used the verb to go. Another very common irregular verb is fai, get or find. Faye, get it or find it. Its past tense is huith, and the secondary form is duith. In duithu and thirigit, did you get the money? And the negative, chaduith, no. Its future tense, however, is completely different. Yiv. Yiv mie. I'll get or find it. But 
The secondary form uses the command fai, as with any regular verb. Am fai shinago? Will you get that for me? And the negative chamai. No. Now, let's have a quick look at some of what we've covered in this episode. To ask someone what they did, what did you do? Je reinu. Je reinu. If you want to say, I went, it's chai me. Chai me. To say, I didn't go, chadjach me. Chadjach me. So to ask someone if they went to the shops, you would say, "In jahu gana buchen," and "Jahu gana buchen," and to reply, "No, I didn't go," it would be, "Chajach, chajach." We also looked at how to discuss future plans and to be able to ask questions using "Will you go?" and "Chechu." And che chu. If you're talking about more than one person or a group of people, will we go? And che chin. And che chin. Responses to and che questions will be positive. Yes, we will go. H. H. Or in the negative, we won't go. Ha che Ha che Nisha Kainyev, remember, Kainyev, Gimfuth Shivna Program and Sintresha Hoyat, or BBC iPlayer. You can watch all of the programmes in this series on BBC iPlayer. There are additional resources available on our website, and you can download our podcasts from BBC Sounds. Surely that's more than enough to keep you motivated until the next episode. Chunanahurish Maha, Chiri and Drasta.